Hello everyone. God bless Sydney. God bless Australia. We wish you all the very best for the new year. The message I've got today is about, really about entering God's family. And today is a day where we acknowledge the Holy Family. And the thing that makes the Holy Family is that God is the centre of the family. And we have a saying that a family that prays together stays together. And that's true. And I'm here to encourage people to teach their children how to pray, pray with them, share God's love, and ask for God to draw each person in the family closer together in one unit in the name of Jesus. Now, the Bible says, those who regard worthless idols forsake their own mercy. So there's only one true person you should be looking to and there's only one way to the Father. Jesus said there's only the only way to the Father is through me, through him. So you should be um, really centering on God and Jesus and putting your faith in Jesus and allowing him and trusting him for your salvation and for your exist existence and your needs. Now, in, um, in Micah 7, 18 to 19, it says, Who is the God like you, pardoning iniquity and passing over the transgressions of the remnant of his heritage? He does not retain his anger forever because he delights in mercy. He will again have compassion on us and we will subdue our iniquity. He will subdue our iniquities. He will cast all our sins into the depths of the sea. Now Jesus makes that possible for us today. It's in him and through him that you, you can be forgiven and all your sins cast into the depths of the sea, never remembered and never held against you. Now, Christmas is about remembering the dawn of salvation, beginning to break with the birth of baby Jesus, that's God and his son. And it says in John that the word became flesh and it's the embodiment of God himself, his love, his mercy, forgiveness, compassion, and salvation. Jesus is a gift from above, the King of the heavens. Forever with us, my God and my Saviour, my King and my friend, yours is the glory. Forever, amen. Now God has established a new commandment, a new covenant through Jesus. And in Hebrews 8, 12 it says for i will be merciful to their unrighteousness and their sins and their lawless deeds i will remember no more this is a promise to whoever and everybody whoever wants to receive it it's for everyone who will receive jesus and make him their lord and the savior and get the covering of the new covenant upon them through the blood of jesus for this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after the days, after these days, says the Lord. I will put my law in their mind and write them in their hearts, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people. God's love, mercy, compassion, and forgiveness only applies to God's heritage. That heritage belongs to the Jewish nation, the Israelites. Now, under the new covenant, the law has been done away with and our sins paid by the sacrifice and the shedding of blood. That's Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. God adopts those who accept Jesus, making him their Lord and their Saviour, and grafts you into the family tree of Jacob, being made God's heritage. How does that happen? 
Jesus said that you need to be born again spiritually made a new creation in Jesus Christ the saving birth of Jesus at Bethlehem our new birth of saving birth when receiving the baptism of the Holy Spirit being born again so the day Jesus was born it was the day our, so, uh, he made possible for our sins to be forgiven and for, our, for us to be redeemed and to receive salvation and you're lucky you have through the new birth. But if you are... God is calling you home to be with him, to be in his family. The invitation goes out to everybody hearing the message, believe now and receive faith unto salvation. But what does it say? The word is near you, in your mouth, in your heart that is the word of faith that we preach that if you confess your mouth the lord jesus and believe in your heart that god has raised him from the dead you will be saved receive these words now and believe them and receive your faith then you can receive your faith and come to god in forgiveness in repentance acknowledge jesus make him your lord and your savior ask for the holy spirit and receive your salvation right here and now this is a promise and the only thing that's stopping it is your actions god's done everything he's opened the door the invitation is there and we invite you to to, to pray with us and surrender today and receive your salvation for with the heart one believes unto righteousness and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation that's Romans 10 uh, 8 to 10 and in Peter 2 3 9 it says God fulfills his promise no matter how long the time so remember God is yesterday he's today tomorrow and forever God never changes and his promise will never change it is the intent of God that no one will go to hell or suffer the et eternal fire. 2 Peter 3.9 it says, The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but in long suffering to us, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. And then uh, Micah 7, 19, 20, it says, God will again have compassion on us, and will subdue our iniquities you will cast all our sins into the depths of the sea and 20 it says you will give truth to jacob and mercy to abraham which you have shown to our fathers in days of old john 3 john 8 32 says and ye shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free john 8 36 if the Son shall make you free, ye shall be free indeed. Receive your salvation, break the bondage and the chains of sin and uh, the bondage you have to, to the world and the devil. Be set free and I'm going to share a quick sinner's prayer. Re believe what you've heard today, receive it, come in faith to God and ask Jesus into your heart and for the power of the Holy Spirit to live with you and for you to be adopted into God's family and that's the only way you're going to get to heaven because Jesus said in John 3 3 unless you are born of the Spirit you will not see the gates of heaven and you will not enter the gates of heaven that's the reason you need to be born again and that's what's so special with the birth of Jesus the, that's the one day of the year that we remember the birth of Jesus and you should equate that to your salvation as well in the new birth being born again now just say this with us this is an invitation come to God now in repentance acknowledge that you're a sinner and just say this with us I repent of my sin Jesus died for me and that he was crucified he arose from the dead Jesus come into my heart the scripture says if you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that God raised Jesus from the dead, it says you will be saved. So say that prayer and just ask Jesus now, I make you my Lord and my Saviour, send your Holy Spirit 
come into my heart. Receive the Holy Spirit and the love of God in Jesus' name. Amen. Happy New Year. Amen.